in hits in the last half a year. There are 140 different pieces of merchandise that bear her image. Who is this superstar? Here's our Power Player of the Week. Oh, I guess that's the only reaction you can have. She's a little bit sleepy this morning. Meet Bao Bao, the National Zoo's oh. baby panda. Her name is Chinese for precious treasure, and that's what she's become to Washington and the world. Bao Bao turned six months old today, and this week we were allowed to participate in a training session. Brandy Smith is senior curator of mammals at the zoo. One of the things we're trying to teach her is to come toward a target. So you call her name, and you can tap it on the edge of the Bao Bao. Bao Bao. At first, Bao Bao paid as much attention as my own children did as babies. But then Brandy gave me a piece of bamboo with sweet potato on the end. Can I? You can see if she wants some. Yeah, she's liking that a little bit. These are just a little treat, so we're kind of teaching her. Um, we're, we're trying out the new foods, so just like any baby, you know, her first cereal, her first fruits. But once she weans off her mother, bamboo will be her main diet. She's going to take it from you, so she'll pick it up in her hand, and like an adult panda, she'll just grab it and she'll chew on it. So she looks very grown up when she does this. I, for one, am very proud of her. <laughs> <laughs> we watch her growth. Um, and we compare it to our own kids, so it's fun to watch her grow up. Bao Bao is with her mother, Mei Shang, almost every moment. They spend much of the night playing. Now, how did you get her away from her mom to come in here? In the morning, her mom actually is very happy to get some mom time, some alone time. <laughs> that sounds familiar. I know. Brandy says there's something about pandas that's deeply appealing to humans. Their faces are just so, you know, they're so cute, they're so sweet. Um, and I think a lot of people look at them, they're the, they're the ultimate teddy bear. But for all the comparisons to babies, the staff never let Bao Bao climb on them. They are bears. They are dangerous animals. They have big claws, they have big teeth. And so we don't ever want them to think of us as toys. We always maintain that distance with them. And when she turns four, the panda will be sent to China.